Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going through something that I've been wanting to do for so long, but I just haven't had the time. We are creating an agent with Zapier and the Assistant API together. So this agent will be a lead capture agent that um, tries to figure out what the customer wants. And once it knows what it wants, it will trigger an action that sends me, in this case, an email uh, with all of their content, uh, contact information and uh, all of their needs, basically. Uh, since we're using Zapier, you can connect this anywhere. But today I thought we would be doing uh, via text since I haven't seen many people do that yet. So, uh, and I just thought it was more fun that way. And uh, yeah, so three basic steps here. First, we're going to be writing the prompt that we are then going to be inserting into the assistant that we create. And then we're going to set up the whole flow in Zapier. So let's start with writing the prompt. Um, the fastest and easiest way to do this is to use custom GPTs. We're not going to be creating a custom GPT today, but we are going to use that to write the prompt and test it out before we move it over to the Assistant API. So go over to the uh, custom GPT section and create a new GPT here. And we're going to be using the chat interface. You can create the prompt here if you want as well. But the reason we're using custom GPTs now is because we're lazy and we want to have some help with uh, tailoring the prompt. So, so I've already created this once, but this was basically what I did. So the thing I asked here, you're Alice working at Alice Labs and AI Automation Studio. Uh, your job is to understand what the client needs help with. When you've understood their needs, you'll answer, okay, I sent a message to Alice Lab telling them about your needs and then summarizing the brief with their contact information. So straight away, uh, the GPT updates the prompt that we'll be able to see very soon. And yeah, uh, every chatbot uh, is going to be different. And this is the way you just talk with it and test it out until you're happy with the result. When you are happy with the result, um, you're going to go here and you're going to copy the prompt and we're moving over to the assistant API. So there's one thing that is really important here. See that I wrote that once you understand their needs, you are going to reply, okay, I sent a message to Alice Labs telling them about your needs. That is very important because we're going to be using parts of this sentence in a filter that when this uh, is said, then we're going to be triggering an action that sends an email summarizing everything that was said in that message. So you need it to, when it's done with whatever um, you want it to do, uh, it needs to say something that you can listen to in a filter. That's the only requirement here. Okay, let's jump over to the assistant API. And uh, okay, so here we have all of my assistants that I've been trying out and you can just create a new one. Um, test two and the assistant is basically just the same as the custom GPT. So you copy the instructions from the custom GPT and copying it into the assistant here. And you'll choose uh, GPT 4.11.06, probably best. And yeah, uh, that's all you need to do. Uh, unless you have some like a knowledge base that you wanted to refer to and stuff like that, you can add the files here um, and check retrieval, but I don't have that for this time. So <clears throat> we're fine with just a prompt here. Um, and then you, you save your uh, assistant like this and voila, that's it. Let's move over to Sapir and see how this is set up. So in this case, we're using Twilio uh, because we're sending SMS. And as the event, we're choosing new SMS. So before that, of course, you need to connect your account. Uh, you need to create an account at Twilio. 
Yes, that was my account. And once you create an account, you get a number and you need to choose that number here and test it out with one of the SMSs that has been sent to it before. If you don't have any SMSs here, there will be nothing to test on. So if it's empty, just send a text, uh, a test text to it. Uh, and yeah, this is uh, the first step you need. Continue. And after that, you're going to add an action called chat GPT and the event is called conversation with assistant. Uh, before we used conversation, but it's this conversation with assistant that is the assistant API. And uh, that is what will allow you to do this very easy. So uh, yeah, add your account and under action. All right, so the action, what is the message going to be? Well, this is going to be the message that was sent from the uh, text. So the body here, and you will choose the assistant that you created with the, uh, in the OpenAI UI. Let's do Alice new. You can leave these ones blank. And the only thing you can't leave blank is this one. The rule here is to include <laughs> something that is unique for that user. The conversation ID is what strings the conversation together. And the assistant will keep that memory with, I think it is up to like 30 days. Uh, so if I, in two weeks, continue talking, it will remember what I said the last time. And um, yeah, that's what makes it able to have these parallel conversations with different people. So here, choose the from number like this. And like I said, if you have files uh, like a custom knowledge base, then you can upload that, uh, but we're not gonna do that now. And yeah, test the step. I've already tested this, continue. We're going down the paths. So. Uh, add an action that is a path and from here we're going to go into path A and here we have an if this then that thing so only continue if the full response from the assistant remember that we told the assistant in the instructions to include, okay, I sent a message to Alice Labs if it was ready to send the email. That is what we're going to listen to here. So we're choosing the full response. Let's see here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, here. So full response, hi there, whatever, um, there. If that message includes, okay, I sent a message to Alice Labs, then we can continue down this path, all right? Uh, after this, I've added a regular ChatGPT conversation. So not conversation with assistant, but here we just need something to summarize a text for us and send it in an email. So I just chose conversation here. Um, and I just wrote an easy uh, prompt, like write the email that is in this message here because the message is going to include the email that will be sent to Alice Lab, because the response uh, the assistant gives when it um, feels like it's ready to send the email, uh, it includes the brief inside of the message. It's like repeating it back to the customer. It includes the email, it, everything that it, it has understood about the client. Uh, so that's what we're listening to and we are uh, creating an email based on that. Cool. Then we are adding an email step here, like an action. Of course, send email. 
with Gmail. Uh, I just have the Zapier test account. To who do we want to send it to? Well, that's going to be my email, eric at alslabs.ai. And from Zapier test, what's the subject going to be like? Well, it's a client request. And what's the body? Well, it's the summary of the message uh, of their brief. Um, so that's being sent to my email. The next step is a reply to the customer. So what will the reply to the customer be? Well, the event here will be just to send an SMS um, to number. It's going to be to the number that was sent from. <laughs> it's going to the reply to that number. And the reply will be the full response from the assistant step over here. So to choose that, just go into, it will not be this one, it will be this one. Conversation with the assistant and go ahead and choose full response there. Um, and in this case, it's responding, okay, I sent a message to Alice Labs and this is what I sent them. If it is not including, okay, I sent a message to Alice Labs, we have another filter here. And this one is going to be the one that is triggered most of the times because we're going to be going back and forth with the assistant and it's going to be trying to figure out what we want, who we are, uh, what we want help with and like as specific enough as it can draft uh, a brief for us. So uh, Usually it's not going to include, okay, I sent a message with Alice Labs and then the conversation goes down path B. And the only thing we're doing here is we're triggering a send SMS. Um, yeah, the message will be the full response of the assistant API again. And yeah, that's it. So let's try this out and maybe I can go through the steps. Uh, as we are talking to the assistant. All right, so let's try this bot out and see what happens. So, hello, I got your number from a friend. Um, and yeah, we got a message back. And once, uh, once oh, like during the trial, uh, you will always have this sent from your Twilio trial account message before, but that's removed once you go premium. So, hi there, uh, happy to help. What can I do for you? We need some help. We need some help in, uh, so we need some help with automating our invoices. Okay, and the reply, uh, sure, I can assist with that. Could you please provide a bit more detail about what you're looking for? Are you needing a new system or do you have existing software uh, you want to integrate it with? Let's write, uh, we use port Nox. So here we got the reply. Uh, got it. Uh, are you looking to automate creating invoices in Fort Nox, or is it the processing and sending of these invoices that you want to automate? Um, all. And we got a reply, understood. Can you tell me the name of your business, your name and the best email to reach you on? Uh, this will help Alice Labs get back uh, to you with a tailored solution. So, uh, yes, all right. I'm eric.com. So now we are ready to uh, probably trigger this action. So we've had the conversation so far, just to uh, let you know here. And the conversation has gone through the path B every time because it hasn't picked up on the, okay, I'll send a message to Alice Labs yet because it hasn't felt like it has gotten all the information it needed to. But what I think will happen now is that we will go back. Uh, we will go down in path A uh, because now it, figured out what we wanted. It's been like very specific uh, about what we want and um, it knows what 
our company is, it knows what the email is, and it knows my name, so like a contact person. And this was all in the instructions in the uh, uh, assistant uh, prompt that I sent. Oh, so here we go. The reply, uh, thanks Eric, uh, I'll forward a request to Alex Labs uh, right away. So then it includes this message. Okay, I sent a message to Alice Lab summarizing your needs. That's what we're listening to in the filter. Here's the message I sent them. So, uh, business name, vacuum cleaners, Eric, vacuum at eric.com. Uh, and then needs. Eric is seeking automation solutions for creating, uh, processing, and sending invoices through Fort Knox for vacuum cleaners. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, what is going to happen now? Uh, I think it's an easier way to go through it like this. It's going through path A because it's now picking up on this line here. Okay, I sent the message to Alice Labs. That's what uh, was our filters. Uh, it then moves that message into this step here uh, that is listening to this message. So we're giving this AI uh, the message that the assistant um, answered and then we're asking it to uh, send an email based on the client's needs in that answer. After that we are sending the email with the reply from this AI. I didn't do any prompt engineering, I just wrote write the email that is in this message here. Um, and it will just write that email and send it to me. And after that, it sends a reply back to the user that is this message. All right, so <laughs> let's now see if an email was sent to me. And yes, here we have the email. It's from my Zapier test account that I have. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it sent... Dear Alice Labs, I hope this email finds you well. <laughs> I'm reaching out on behalf of vacuum cleaners to express our interest in finding automation solutions for invoicing process through Fort Knox. And then we have the email, the name, and the company name. And uh, really, you can tailor this to whatever you want the format to be. All right, so that's how you do it. That's how you create an agent that can perform actions for you using the Assistant API and Zapier without writing a single line of code. I hope you got the gist of it and you can really be creative with this. Uh, it's not only that you can, in this case we sent an email, but you can also book meetings or whatever. Um, so be creative with it. Let me know if you build something cool with it and uh, have a nice life. Bye bye.